Hey guys, it's Amber from Amber Plants Today, and you know what day it is? Thursday! Whoop, 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 whoop! Happy news with Amber! Happy news with Amber! Happy, happy, happy news with Amber! Make sure you stay tuned. Well, that might have been excessive. But you guys, seriously, I love filming these videos. Some of my favorites. Oh, uh, yeah. Filming my fave video. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's being stuck at home or my pure excitement for this video. Or maybe both. But I'm a little loopy tonight. Sorry, I hope you'll stay around. <laughs> anyway, um, I just have a few things to talk about tonight. Honestly, obviously, some of the biggest things that's happening is the coronavirus. I feel like a lot of people are not talking, not, not, not talking about it, but not putting a name to it. I'm like, feel like I'm reading a lot of Instagram posts like, I'm staying positive during the virus. I'm staying positive during this situation. And I'm like, we can call it COVID-19. We can call it coronavirus. We can call it by its name um, because it's got no hold on us. We are overall going to get over it. It's going to take some time, though. I feel like it is anyway. So to start... Um, Relating most closely to the coronavirus is the Happy Planners website. The warehouse, with people who work at the warehouse, are not working right now. Um, it is closed. So if you order something right now from the Happy Planners website, it will not be shipped for a while. I don't know how long a while is. I don't know if it said on the um, on their web page. Let me look it up really quick because it'll seriously take like two seconds. Important shipping update details. Literally the first thing that pops up. It says, Dear Happy Planners, to support our teams and families, we have closed our warehouse until further notice. So it does not say when they'll come back. Thank you for your patience. Happy packages will ship as soon as we can. So I think the important thing to know is that you can still order they do have a sale, or not a sale, but like a um, promotion right now, free shipping. So if you order right now, the free shipping goes until April 1st. So if you order right now, you'll get free shipping, but don't expect your package anytime soon. That's where we're at. Everyone, I'm pretty sure, is working from home that can and it looks like the people that can't work from home are now just not working. Um, so that's about all we know about that. Hopefully you guys are still gonna be ordering some things. I feel like in the Happy Planner's timeline schedule, this was an, a pretty okay time for this to happen because they had just finished their spring release. So everything from the spring release that you guys ordered should be out already. They already have all like their super clearance markdowns and stuff like that. So I feel like we're kind of like in a limbo period waiting for the next release, um, which we talked about last week. We talked about squad girls, the summer vibes, the summer fun sticker books. Um, who knows when they'll be coming out, but they might like be releasing them while the warehouse is still closed. It depends how long the warehouse is closed for. It could be closed for one month or one week. I don't know, two months. Um, and they, they might try to keep their same release schedules, but back up the shipping. So we might all be kind of shipping or ordering stuff without knowing when we'll get it. Um, but that's something really important to know, especially if you do like ordering from their website. If you like, I ran out of this washi tape, right, and we're all stuck at home, you're not going to the store, you just want to order it from their website, well, you're not going to get that washi tape, whether you go to the store or you go to their website. So, out of luck, dig through your stash, 
find creative ways to reuse what you got and go with that because I know you guys can do it. We've all got plenty of stock in Happy Planner. You guys see my shelf back here. These are one, two, three, four. I have five because I have one on my desk. Five Mega Value Pack sticker books. I own every single sticker book they ever came out with. I've got random stuff down there that you guys can't even see right now. We've all got so much stuff to use. Let's just use it and um, also try to support the business as we can. We all love the Happy Planner. We would be crushed to see them like go under or something. Not that I think they would, but if they're out for that long of a period of time, I mean, it could have a really big effect on them. I mean, they're not like a big corporation like Apple. Like, if Apple shut down for two months, they'd probably be okay. But the Happy Planner, I don't know. I don't know their, you know, their economy over there in their offices. So it could really affect them. So we need to make sure that we're still supporting them, but have graceful expectations. Okay, second thing I want to talk about. I feel like I talked about that for a really long time. Sorry, guys. We will speed it up. Um, stores closing. I've seen a couple posts, I think maybe some in Georgia, maybe some in California, of Hobby Lobby's and Joann's closing. I'm pretty sure my friend JoJo told me that Colorado Springs Joann is cutting back their hours, so shortening the day. Um... If you want me to be honest, I don't know what shortening the day is going to do. Like, you're going to have more people trying to come in the open hours than, like, less people spreading out the times they come. I don't know. Am I, am I using my common sense or do I sound silly? Anyway, if your stores have closed in your area, let me know. And, like, what do you guys think about that? Um, I know there are very two differing opinions about the coronavirus, COVID-19, and we are not here to get into those. We are just not. I mean, people are going to say, yes, shut everything down. Everybody stays at home. Um, and some people say it's not as big of a deal as we think it is. All these things. We're not here to get into that. We are just here to talk about the happy planner and their news. Um... But it does relate a little bit. Like, what do you guys think about the stores closing? Are you guys bummed about it? Did you guys, were you guys able to get some of the new product before they decided to close? Maybe they're not closing in an area yet. Who knows? Um, speaking of, though, Hobby Lobby, I feel like I've seen quite a few posts of Hobby Lobby getting their stuff in, like, last week and this week. So some last week and then um, I feel like most over the weekend like after last happy news so like Friday through now I know our store did I'll show you guys quickly what I grabbed I grabbed the classic the skinny classic purse in black I have the mini in gold but I kind of wanted something bigger and I did grab that leopard strap I'm really hesitant about it because I don't wear leopard I wear a lot of florals I know it won't match um, people on my Instagram, I asked them if I should keep it and just rock what I rock or if I should return it because I just, I, I know personally that it'll only match a very select few of my, um, tops that I wear. So you guys can chime into that too. You guys think I should keep that and just rock what I rock. And then I grabbed this skinny classic happy notes to go in my purse. I've noticed that I do have this mini planner that I have left in my office in my desk this is not an office it's in my bedroom um in my on my desk for weeks and weeks without having it in my um mini planner purse so I notice that I carry notebooks more and just jot down quick notes versus having an on-the-go planner um but I still do like those videos and stuff like that. And I still write in the planner. Sometimes if I'm going out, I'll remember to grab it. But sometimes I don't. And I just rely on looking at it before I leave. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is the Instagram Lives with the Happy Planner. They have um, this week. So the Happy Planner is trying to come up with some things to keep everyone engaged. We're all stuck at home. How are we going to be all like, you know 
be staying connected because this really could be a time where a lot of people shut down or become depressed or anything like that um, because they don't have their community. And yeah, we will always have our Happy Planner community on Instagram or Facebook um, or YouTube, but there's something different about like going to planner meetups. I don't know if you guys have ever been to one, but I've been to a few and like seriously, like I've texted and messaged these people on Instagram and the minute I met them in real life, it is just so different and I'm so like blessed to have met so many awesome people through planner meetups and now we're stuck in the house. Lame. But the Hype Planner is really trying to come up with some ways to keep people connected and one of those ways is having um, specific Instagram lives with certain people. So today or Sorry, today is Wednesday. I filmed this video on Wednesday. It goes up Thursday morning. Today, on Wednesday, they had a live with Heather, Kel, and Hannah Joy. They um, went together. They talked about schooling from home. Um, tomorrow, it'll just be Stephanie Fleming, and she's going to talk about nurturing your creativity. Um, on Friday, it'll be Erica Canant. She's like my friend. I love Erica with Hannah and they're going to talk about a home body bucket list so I assume everyone's stuck at home what are we all going to be doing so I think that'll be interesting Saturday Hannah is going to do a faith planning session and then Sunday my absolute favorite oh my gosh they are having Jana Wilson if you guys do not know who Jana Wilson is, you guys are probably like, okay, who cares? They're having Jana Wilson come on and do an intro to hand lettering class in, on the Instagram Live. If you guys do not know who Jana Wilson is, let me just tell you, she is one of the designers for the Happy Planner. And let me just tell you that me and Jana are best friends. I mean, not really, like, at all. But she is my favorite designer and I didn't really even know it, but she did Homebody. She did Homebody. She did my current planner. Let me show you guys. My floral planner, the She Blooms. She did all of the lettering for this. She did all of that. Let me try to bring that up for you guys. She did that. She has beautiful beautiful lettering and that intro to lettering class is gonna be phenomenal fa freaking nominal is what it's gonna be oh i'm so excited i'm so so excited um do you guys have an instagram do you guys tune into their lives if you don't i really really think you should i'm um, not only like I feel like Instagram has a really, really tight-knit community of the planner community, um, but also, like, the Instagram does lives over there. They have so much content over there that sometimes isn't shared on their Facebook, especially the lives, because they're all on Instagram. But um, they have some other ideas for this time that we're all stuck at home, too. So make sure that you guys stay tuned. I'll make sure I share anything with you guys, but... Um, they will be starting to roll out some things where we're all like can be, you know, included and involved and still in our community while being stuck at home. The last thing that I want to talk about really quickly is Lila. She is on the Happy Planner Squad. Her Instagram handle is LB Novel Tees. Um, she is coming up with a Spotify playlist that people on Instagram have um, created. Like, so she's kind of like doing um, an Instagram suggestion box, kind of. Very similar. I don't know how to explain it. But people will suggest songs that, like, are positive and uplifting and fun to dance to. Um, and she's going to create a Spotify playlist that we all can listen to, which I think is super cool to help everyone stay positive, dance it out, and just, you know keep her smiles going the other thing she's doing is a netflix movie watch um i'll make sure you guys can see like all the screenshots and then i'll link her instagram handle here so you guys can see it as well but she's like it's called um 
like the Netflix challenge have planner style or something like that and you watch one of the videos that she has suggested then you basically like review it and share it with other people on Instagram it's one way to connect be like I watched that movie too did you see that part what did you guys think of this movie and then you kind of just rate it and review it so I thought that was really fun she's trying to keep everyone you know in good spirits and stuff like that so that's all that I had for today um this community is awesome this community is so awesome we are all in this together we're all just kind of figuring life out some of us are staying home now or working from home or teaching from home we're momming from home I mean we're doing all of the things now and it can be overwhelming but you're not alone I'm not alone we're not alone we're in this together and we will overcome the coronavirus who knows how long it could be but we're all in this together did you get that <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching happy news with amber i hope that you will continue to follow along as i plan a happy life and continue to like and subscribe to my youtube channel bye guys